Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Vuktag, one of FI, the Jumping Turtles, and the Catapult playthrough. We have not luck with any loot at the moment. Sad as it is, we're finding a lot of stuff, but we're not finding any good loot. That's how it is. That's terrible. But what can you do? So, we've got a few more missions to do. And I think after this we have to rest, because everyone has been in battle then. And here we go. Mines are it always our best friend. Do we have help? Someone to take the blame. Yes, yeah, Sergeant Major Ashley King is with us. Thank you, sir. Your help is appreciated. That is where they have to go. We have no idea where they start. Maybe we can spot them by funnels or something. Sometimes you can see them simply um, by looking where the stuff rises. Uh, this is the road, so they will be probably coming along the road, right? Um, if we place ourselves here, we have the problem that we might be out of range. Although, technically speaking... Oh, we have to capture... Uh, we have to escort them. I thought we should uh, intercept them. Okay. My bad. Totally, totally, totally my bad. Totally my bad. <laughs> I thought I had to do... Um... Okay, that makes sense. Because that is the landing pad. So that is where we have to drive. I, I honestly thought, what the hell... What kind of escort? Uh, what kind of destroy convoy is that? But we have to escort. Okay. Do we have help? If yes, from what? Sprint helicopter. Ugh. Rotunda. Ugh. Splat truck. Mind this, but that is very dangerous to ourselves. And a Kruger. 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 Well, everything helps. They say everything helps. It will get the job. So, mm -hmm, I'm going. Moving forward, Commander. Excellent. Now, really, we have to keep our LRM carrier close because he's an easy target, and we cannot really shield him, to be honest. I mean, even if the mechs are around them, they will not really be able to shield him in terms of uh, taking the hits for him. I could try to position them in the way, but that is no guarantee for anything. And if anything, it's a higher chance to get hit. But again, we have yet no idea what we're up against and where the enemy is. But we will manage. We always do. This is a one and a half star mission, so I'm expecting that there will be only one uh, enemy force. Uh, two enemy forces. One when we activate the landing gear, a landing platform where the troops will arrive, and one at the end. If you play higher skulls, there will be three. There will be one to clear before you can take the capture zone. There will be one that tries to intercept you, and there will be one that will stop you from getting away. So three in total. This car could still be useful if... By any chance, they would manage to... Has an activate already? No, it does not. If it manages to, by uh, some degree, ram the enemy, because that's when these things are most effective. Small cars, small attack vehicles are most effective if they do ramming attacks. Because it's speed and mass that does the damage. So they don't have the, the, the mass, but they have the speed. And so then that's where you really rank up some damage. If this rotunda goes full speed and rams someone in the face, a mech or tank, is, it will be destroyed. Most likely. Where is the enemy? Where? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here they are. Okay. We have a centurion. We have an incubus. A Jenner ventilator. Who did, who did come up with that name? Uh, we 
cannot shoot them at this point because they haven't moved. So as crazy as it sounds, we'll reserve. We want them to move and then we're gonna shoot them to smithereens. Yes, technically speaking, they can shoot us in the back. Kind of. That was a real waste of shooting because uh, he only had one rocket launcher. And he should have used them when he was in back of the guy, not in front of him. The Incubus! They're coming around the side. Wow, not, not too shabby. He shot me in the back, that bastard. Okay, is light. You will not be of any help whatsoever, sir. Oh, he actually hit him. Impressive. I cannot use mines on the enemy because that would destroy my own transport when I drive through them. So that's not an option. I still have the wait, uh, fate hope that they will not all concentrate on my heavy alarm carrier. But they do. They do. These bastards, they do. Can you shoot him? Yes, but chances to hit. He's got a laser AMS clan type. Wow, I want that. I want that because it does not run out of ammunition. Yes, it produces heat. True story. But uh, if you... Oh, crap. That idiot. He just mind the way we have to go through. Not perfect, sir. Not perfect. Not even close to perfect. Actually quite stupid. Because that was the one you should not do. Oh well. We didn't hit anything. Now we must be really careful not to shoot our own people. Because my guys can destroy the tanks in no time. This is good because we're firing the uh, PPCs and that might clear some of the mines. He lost evasive, that's extremely good. An LBX-10 auto cannon? You're kidding. They've got gave us gave us some real heavy stuff here. Engaging target. Yeah, he didn't like that, did he? That incubus is really getting it. Ready for order. Okay. It's a little bit dangerous, maybe we shoot down our own flyer, but then again, who cares for that guy? Target confirmed. Not enough to kill. Please don't hit my tank in the back, that would be absolutely awesome. Oh, yeah, he's dead. Aye, aye. Copy that. I think we hit someone of our own in the back. No, it's the carrier. Okay. This could be worse. We fire. It's 2%, but maybe that makes the difference in the end. No, we didn't hit anything. No joy. Commander. Tank girl. Hitting chances are not great. Front armor is still okay. We can get a little bit into cover. Yeah, that's not gonna do anything, but this is gonna do something. We fire standard, and we might even drop some mines on him, because this minefield is not exactly in the way of things, right? 
Yeah, maybe it is. But I think, I hope that my car, uh, vehicles are able to uh, deal with that. By the way, I can destroy the minefield as soon as I dealt with the enemies. You carry a lot of missiles, sir. I'm a little bit confused about that fact. Ooh, nice hit. Wait, there is someone else? <gasps> there is stealth, guys! Um... He didn't move, did he? So actually... We still have terrible chances, Tate. Okay, we'll reserve. He runs through the minefield as is if it's nothing. And he carries a punch. Boy, he does. Okay. Um. This is not perfect, but... They've got Gauss rifles. You have to be kidding me. They built these things with Gauss rifles? Holy hell. Yeah, we're, we're clear the path uh, of the mines with the PPCs, no problem. Okay, that was bad. That was our air support. And there it goes. The air support is gone. Um, could shoot him. Should shoot him, right? Uh, crank it up. All weapons committed. Yeah, he... Wow, he didn't become unstable? How did he do that? Amazing. This guy's tough. Yeah, now he's unsteady. Okay, that means now he's dead. Because as soon as they're unsteady, the food for the ravens. Good to go. Main problem is not so much this guy than the infantry. Yeah, he just lost a leg. I mean, he's a fast runner and he just lost a leg. That means he's basically dead. Oh, yeah. The torso destroyed. On it. We're not the fastest, but we get the job done. Attacking from position. Yeah. Tank girl. Would you mind killing this guy? Or at least... Or fire extended range. <laughs> Yikes! He's got a light gauss rifle. This thing is advanced like hell. What's up, Commander? Be there when it's here. Okay, this might not be the best idea I ever had, but it's an idea nonetheless. Because I really want that Gauss rifle off the field. It's a small Gauss rifle, you might say. It's only 55 damage. It's a Gauss rifle. That's all we have to know about that thing. We do not want to have Gauss rifles running around. Okay. Just kill him. All weapons committed. Enough to kill him? Enemy net no. 
Still not enough to kill him. Interesting. I'm wondering, can I... But these guys are probably capable of close combat attacks. Yeah, they have a melee. A, well, they have not a claw attack. Okay, he's dead. The point is, if I ram them and I, I ruin the ram attack, what could happen is that they swarm me. That would be bad. I don't want to get swarmed. That's very, very, very unhealthy. And we're not in the best shape to begin with. Wow, just just look at the amount of damage he did. Amazing. That was stupid because I should concentrate fire on someone else. That's it. Yeah, we did hit a little bit, but not enough, and I fear we're not fast enough to um, exploit that. Commander. Oh, we might just be fast enough to exploit that. Can we get closer? Yes, we can. That's all we need to do. Don't ruin that now, okay? I'm gonna make some trash. And he's gone. Excellent work, everyone. Excellent work. I'm already, already totally happy with you. And now about these infantry guys. Could fire high explosives. The hitting chances are a little bit better. Yeah, it didn't, didn't do anything, really. The machine guns did all the work. But they're now flared up, so that means I might be able to hit them more reliably. Commander. Oh boy, look at the hitting chances. This is a catastrophe waiting to happen, right? Roger that. Oh well. We did, we did internal damage and we did kill absolutely no one. But we can uh, clear some mines. That's not the worst that can happen. Oh boy, they 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 took damage this time. Oh, battle claws. Good thing. Good thing I didn't engage them in close combat. Ooh, because think what would happen then. That that would have gone really, 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 really bad. AC ten doesn't have a minimum range. So they're gone. Excellent work, everyone. Excellent work. Uh, can you stay with the team? It's a little bit dangerous because of the minefield and you're already in bad shape. But we're doing good. We're doing yeah. good. Tank girl, you're not doing good. But this time, loot could be beautiful. This time, loot could be excellent. Because we killed people with clan. We could get clan XL engines. We could get clan endosteel. We could a uh, clan endosteel, by the way, would be absolutely breathtaking. Because normal endosteel takes, I think, 14 spaces. Clan endosteel takes 7 spaces. Just think of the room we would have in the machines. Um, clan targeting systems, not so much a fan of. But... Still okay, pretty awesome. Um, I hope you did get the, the super jump burst. No, you don't. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, it is what it is. Too way, too far away in the convoy. You should start. Can't do this. This will mean damage. Yeah, acceptable. Oh boy, we're, we're ramping up mines like crazy. Well, that's what it is. That's what it is. It's okay. It's okay. Some landmines explode. I think we have to go around here, even though everything here is full of mines as well. 
So that's not gonna help. Um, maybe I should try... Okay, I'm really gonna hate this. I have no idea where the enemy appears. I just have a suggestion, right? Okay, you're the... No, you you should start. Oh boy, that was stupid. You're in position, Commander. Hold your ground until well, the only good thing is they're on the opposite side. They have an Arbiter, a Wasp, no problem, a Swordsman, not that much of a problem. So the most dangerous thing is the Arbiter, you might think, but then again... It is not well armed, uh, armed, armed, um, ah, you know, equipped with weapons. They have primarily direct firing weapons, which means technically speaking, um, we can take cover behind the hill and feel relatively safe. Are you kidding me? I'm not away from convoy units, you buffoon! These guys, I tell you. Okay, we'll have only one round of shooting before everything, before they leave and we're all alone. And our allies are as useful as brain damage. Well, the flyer did take some damage that we would have gotten otherwise, so I guess we're okay. Hopefully. Wasp is advancing, whatever. Whoa! You there, young one! Be careful, that cost money. Problem. Who would be nuts enough to shoot at me indirectly at this distance? Oh, the swordsman. I see, I see, I see, I see. This is a bit dangerous because we're kind of in the way. Yeah, we will shot ourselves in the back. Even though it was 63%. And it was not 63% to miss, but I think it was 100% to shoot ourselves in the back. Because that's how stupid my guys are. No, we're... Uh... Yeah, no matter what we do, we're outside range, right? I see the point. I see the point. 25, 16, 40 percent chance to hit the swordsman. Um, we really have to deal with the arbiter though. But this guy is not well armored. He carries an AC5. Commodore Gerhard Forsyth, at your service. I will most likely hit Commodore the tank in front of me. But I don't care for this guy. Well, this is the best chance we have, so that's what we're firing at. No, because when a tank of your own type stands in front of you, you obviously always, always hit the tank for some very, very strange reason. Okay, let's say hello to the guy. And we missed. No damage detected. Okay, there is at least no one in the way, so this could be worse. <laughs> Two hits. Oh well, it is what yeah. it is. Tank girl. You will hold position. Uh, 
And you will let it rain on these suckers big time, okay? Take this. Mm -hmm. They don't have AMS of any sort or form. Which is good. 27, 29. Shoot this one. Maybe we hit, maybe we take off his leg. Oh no, we take the arm! And two lasers are destroyed? You had two medium lasers in a wasp? What? Nah, he just had one. It just counted as two for some reason. Impressive shooting. Oh, that's not good. But technically speaking, we're still alive. Let's hope he doesn't fire on the same target because we're in terrible shape. Of course he does. Okay, um... Location confirmed. Advance. I have more tonnage than you. I have more anger than you. I have everything more than you. Would you please, please do me the favor of just die? Mr. Takashi. These guys need a lecture. Would you please deliver that to them? Uh, this is relatively good hitting chances. He only has his normal ballistic weapons left. So that's not really a threat. He is down most of his weapons. He, however, is not. On Good job. Objective secured. Panic level critical by what? <laughs> From what? Your people are all standing. Damage is minimal. You're fine. No reason to do any panic. And nobody knows what, what my allies are doing. They're just cruising around. He's ace pilot, so we'll shoot and move again. Obviously, although he's in a minefield, so he should not be moving that much. Just tell me what to do, boss. Uh, could shoot him, could shoot him. Could shoot him. We're gonna shoot this guy. Because I think he's got an ultra auto cannon, something. Ultra AC5, yes, he has. Though it didn't do anything. Let's hope he's as bad as hitting as I am. I mean, I'm shooting LBX, so I get a bonus to hit. It doesn't. Sentinel is on outflank mode. Yeah, AMS can fire, obviously, because I have no ammo. You're still running around. What will the Arbiter do? He's the guy with the heaviest weapon. He misses. Thank you, sir. So kind. I will now do my best to ruin your life. Yeah, you're not that well, that well armored, right? Firing all weapons. Nothing. Order. What a disgrace. Can you do it? He's not using an XL engine, I guess. Otherwise, he would be dead already. Okay, can you do something funky? Yep. Stupid to drive through mines, but that's okay. Because now we have a really good hitting chance. Oh yeah, you're gonna love this barrage, sir. Nothing else! Receiving you. Screw me, I was I was hoping for a lot more than that, honestly.
Could shoot him, could shoot him. Doesn't do what I wanted it to do. Yeah, it doesn't make sense to shoot. I mean, I could shoot him. He has only one weapon left. He has the uh, most amount of weapons left, after all. Yeah, he's panicking, but that's not helping. I'm not concentrating fire enough. The rule is guns of the field. I think he still has a few lasers left. They're all faster than me, right? For some strange reason, he didn't fire. Can I get into firing range? The lasers, I can't. Okay, no reason to do it then. He has an Ultra AC-5, he has a lot of weapons left, so he's the one we have to take out. But we didn't do anything to him. Oh, he's using the same weapon I am, by the way. He's using an AC-5 um, Ultra. No, he's the one with the AC-5 Ultra. Ow, that was a bad hit, sir. Okay, you ruined this guy. He has no weapons left. He only has flamers and stuff left. He has the most weapons left. And we miss with basically everything. Someone please kill that Arbiter guy, that would help a lot. Affirmative. You're telling me we're concentrating our fire on one guy and we're unable to kill him. Yes. Now this is getting dangerous because if he's in range to do close combat attacks, he's faster than I am. That's not good. That was miserable. Commander. Okay, I, I better move to cover because this is not going good for us. Could. Could. Okay, we have to teach this guy a lesson somehow. Yes, he's dead. Another one for the kill board. All out of long range good work. At least someone here is doing good work. Cannot say the same for the rest. Waiting for order. I must really, 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 really stay away from this guy. Can you kill him? He's without weapons. Problem solved. He's got no weapons left of any sort or form. He has technically weapons left. We destroyed a couple of heat sinks, but we did not destroy any weapons. And again, the, uh, the uh, Sentinel could just run up to us and ruin our lives easily. He still has weapons left. Yeah, I have to, because if I don't kill this guy, from position. he might do some really hot stuff on us. Okay, ejected. Excellent work. Maybe I'm, I'm paranoid. Totally possible. 
Wasp is running away. Strange choice. Because that's not how you survive. Where there is no getting off the board. He's dead. We did take a lot of damage, did we? Most of the damage was taken by Tank Girl. And Tank Girl don't give a crap. Because Tank Girl will be repaired afterwards anyway. Oh, I basically have nothing left. Okay, I see. Well, the mines will keep him from doing stupid. And his leg is damaged anyway, if I remember that right. So if he's trying to move around a lot, he's gonna regret that. Hello, sunshine. Okay, we can. He has no weapons left, so we can just stand and deliver. Oh, he has weapons left. I just remember that he has weapons left. Indeed, he has lasers, but only small lasers, right? And we have a lot of boom boom. And he's dead. Excellent work. Excellent. So payment is extraordinary good because of the 25% bonus payment. Experience is okay. Loot. Incubus 2R. Wow. So the cell bring is stable. This is um for Solaris. Impressive. To guard the flanks of heavy assault, Maxang most clan genus. Improved survivability. A scrapper, which is beautiful. Mashing guns. Just a tank with legs. Yeah, kind of. B pot, but that only works against um anti battle armor, so that's not gonna help us. They have uh like Gauss rifle. They have medium heavy lasers. The range is the problem here. Um, machine gun arrays. Very good idea. The problem is the range. Basic cockpit, machine gun targeting system. Enhanced imaging. I have a lot of pilots who could actually use that. But the point is we already have uh, moving and shooting if we train him high enough. And it has the chance to go bad for us, so we're not going that. Machine gun, bonus, primitive standard, gun support with life support systems. Laser insulator. Minus on laser heat. That is good. Protective padding. Not so much a fan of that. Sensor trackers! Yes, sir. Absolutely 100%. Thank you. Upper recoil. That's not the worst. If we find don't find anything better, that would be my choice. And we don't find anything better. That's lame. Laser insulator would be really good if we had more energy slots in one place. But this reduces the heat by by five. Three and ten percent, twelve percent of well, this could make the difference. If we, for example, put in a large extended range laser, this just might do the trick, you know. This just might do the trick. I've got some ideas here. We got a Clan XL engine, is absolutely beautiful. We have a Clan Guardian ECM system, which is absolutely beautiful. 
We've got heat dissipating armor, which is uh, I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna comment on that. And we've got the heavy laser, medium. Now, point taken, most of us have two days to get up on speed, right? So we could actually uh, just do two days of resting and then recycle them. But it is three days for the rest of the team, so three days is what we take for repairs. First of all, we look into, you know, you're fine. We look into you. You've got one ton remaining, which is mainly because you lost armor, right? You've got the energy system. That's too much. 50. Oh, God, you got your arms hit pretty badly. Holy hell. Now let's put a little bit down on that part. Now, the center torso is lamp less armored than the rest. That's not good. We don't want that. This is how it goes. Okay. We could, we still have, we could put out the medium laser here and give you an extended range laser there. We'll have a little bit of a heat problem. Um... Especially when we start, you know, to like jumping around and stuff. But I'll take it for the range. Because this is 480, this is 360. That is a difference. Yeah, but then again, the heat is a problem. I recognize that. Okay. This is three days and we're good to go. I don't think I have any special senses for you, sadly. Well, I could give you the sensor tracker or the sensor recon. Actually, that works. I like it. It's still three days. I could give you the tactics. It's still three days. Wait, it did it give him the super? Where is my cockpit? Not sure that did work. Ah, here it's tactics support. That's down here. Okay. Whatever. You're fine. Three days. You're equipped with a lot of long-range weaponies, sir. And therefore, I will give you advanced optics for one day. I will give you the sensor tracker. And then we're going to arm you up. Too much. Okay, I'm not really happy because this is two days. But we have to keep in mind that all things considered... Um, we have to repair the other machine as well. On. This guy here needs a little bit of loving as well. Well, actually, he doesn't. Actually, he's fine. Okay. Then, sir... We'll put all our love into you. Advanced optics, please. Sensor tracker, please. And armor you up like there is no tomorrow. We have three days to get you up to speed. That was too much. This is the best I can do. Very nice. Log and We're still under tonnage, but only minimally. All work has been done, which is beautiful. Let's look at the store. 
<gasps> They're selling Nephilim. Yes, please. Why are they selling Nephilim all of a sudden? Does that make any sense? Because that is Blake's word super technology. This is about the the pinnacle, the pinnacle of that kind of technology. This is nine tons, a lot of heat, but it's a beautiful weapon. We buy it. Handheld medium rifle. I think that's too heavy for us. Grenade Inferno. Large lasers. Oh, look at that. Blue particle field dampener. Plus nine heat. Yeah, too dangerous. Could blow up in our faces. Extended will have no room for that. The engines are crap. That's sad. Nothing else here. It's a shame. It's a shame. It's a shame. You, sir. No. You, sir. No. You, sir. No. You can become a bandit. Because criticals is what kills, right? You're no help. You, sir, could become better at sensors. Uh. We need the Warlord, I guess, because of the Cold Shot Multiplier. So that's the reason we're going that way. Although we could use better sensors. Uh, you take Cautious. Because better sensors win the day. Nothing I can do for you, nothing I can do for you. You're getting better, that's excellent. Hotball! The main problem is that we'll have problem getting all the resolve together. Obviously. But still, we're doing fine. We're doing fine. Uh, I need cautious more than I need criticals at the moment. Because that will allow us to just wait to get rid of stability if we get hit or if we jump too much, which we will most likely be doing. I mean, jumping around a lot. Oh boy, you need sensors. You're terrible at sensors. Why did I buy you? Siegfried, tell me, tell me fast. Kind of disappointed by you. Um, you will save. You would be good. Um, the fashion we're not buying, but we should be selling, right? The tornel lasers can be sold because they're rubbish. The medium lasers can be sold because we're not going to build that in. The MML can be sold even though I like them. The slave system can be sold. We're not going to use that. The engine cores can be sold. Because we don't use them. Uh, the heat... Ah. The heat damage taken. But we need stealth, so we cannot take that. Sensor basics can be sold. This can be sold. And this can be sold. Beautiful. So, let's stop it here. And see each other next time. Bye.